Pro. Hello again and welcome back to another tutorial at ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on one tiny element of how to use Groove Agent 4 within Cubase 7.5. So let's get started. What I've done here is I've just got a basic drum loop. And what we're going to do, uh, a little bit like Stylus RMX from Omnisphere, we're going to cut this loop up into uh, little tiny elements, and then we're going to apply each element to a drum pad so we can trigger it from uh, Groove Agent. So first of all, let's go into the audio. Same again as in a previous tutorial I've done on detecting hit points and so on. What we'll do is click on hit points. We'll bring the threshold down until we have a little hit point marker on each individual element, which we have, and edit hit points. Let's just zoom in. We've got one there that we don't want. There we go. And there's one at the end that we need to add. Another one there. Look. and we need to add one there. Okay, so that'll do. Then we click Create Slices, and what that's done there, you can see each individual element now is its own little slice. So what we need to do now is open Groove Agent, so we'll create a track instrument, Drums Groove Agent SE, add track, and here we go. Here's our Groove Agent now, so F11, let's get rid of that. And all we need to do is basically highlight our drum groove and drag onto pad number one. And there you go. So that's all from the MIDI keyboard. So what we can do now, let me just move this out of the way a second. So first of all, there's our drum groove. What we're going to do now is we go back into Groove Urgent Pattern and drag that across. Now what that's done, mute that one, is it's created our little slices. So when we play that back. And as you can see there, it's scrolling through each individual sample. So the good thing about this, obviously, is one, you can go in and manipulate each individual sample from uh, volume, pan, change the pitch of it um, to create your own unique loops. But we can also sort of mess around with it a little bit. So maybe put let's have another one of those there. And the little hats. Let's. Let's do like a sixteenth hat pattern. Maybe a little. Let's do that. Again, like I said, we can change velocity. We can also apply um, different groove templates to this using the quantize function. Very subtle, but it is. You can see there, it's actually manipulating the, the, the quantize. So if we put this to 16th notes, 
you should see there you go only very subtle but you can see you, it allows you to let's try that one there you go so again another really really useful tool within Cubase allowing you to manipulate uh, loops so you could maybe start off with a little tiny loop sample that you have put it into Groove Agent and completely remix it and you've got all the um, all the little loops at your fingertips so for instance let's move that out of the way let's just record a quick pattern in So there you go, you've created your own unique loop from the original drum loop. Like I said, really, really handy tool. Uh, allows you to get some really good sounds um, and not be stuck or limited just by the loop characteristics. You can strip it apart. It doesn't have to be drums, it can be percussive, it can even be synths, it can be anything, vocals, to create little vocal chops. So that's it, just another quick tutorial on uh, Cubase 7, and that was uh, Groove Agent 4. Again, don't forget, if you've got any questions, get in touch. So until next time, bye-bye.